Welcome back everyone, this is Akinar here with more Sekiro, where last time we arrived at the Fountainhead Palace and we were greeted with the warmest of welcomes by the true monk. And uh, what a tough fight, but also a lot of fun and we managed to get the victory, which is always what counts. And we're ready to explore the, the Fountainhead Palace in the near future. I'm very interested to check this out. What a, still one of the coolest, maybe the coolest vista that I have seen in the game. First, we do have a new key item that we also got as a result of that fight. We have this dragon's tally board. And so I had thought to maybe check in with some of the memorial mobs and other merchants off camera just to see what new items they had. But uh, the other thing that I had not quite processed last time, other than the mist clearing and being able to see everything, it's also nighttime. There is a moon. It's not a blood moon, like in Bloodborne, but we have progressively been seeing this, this similar passage of time. And it had made me think, what if, what if the rest of the, the world is also, has also finally proceeded to nighttime? We'll check that in just a second here. Let's quickly check our memory. We forgot to enhance our attack power, and uh, there's always a little bit of additional dialogue. Let's confront the true monk memory, get our attack power up to double digits, which is exciting. The corrupted monk was among the infested, standing over the Fountainhead Palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for eternal watcher of the palace. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Eternal watcher of the palace. And it seemed that she was able to watch over it in multiple places not just here at the Fountainhead Palace, but also outside of the Wedding Cave. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Huh. Love those little bits of flavor. And there's always, one thing we haven't looked much at is the menu here, the reflecting, reflection of strength menu. There's actually some very cool artwork for these bosses. I have not seen yet the or I've not felt the urge to do these fights again. Maybe that could be something fun that we might go back at some point and try some of these. There, the game doesn't, the game doesn't tell you that there is any sort of reward other than just getting to fight the fight again. But it's cool to check out our past victories as well. All right, let's also now look at the travel menu. I was curious to see the images here. How have they changed? Wow, look at that. The nighttime image of the outskirts. Oh, so it has, night is here, night has fallen. Another thing that reminded me about this was the loading screen tooltip that showed up when I booted up the game. I wasn't recording at the time, but it says something about, it mentions the passage of time and as the sun sets or as the night as the day turns to night vengeful spirits will arise something along those lines which i think is a mention of these these enemies that we have seen the night jar phantoms or ghosts the ashina elite vengeful spirits harata state should be the same <laughs> um let's check out though some of these We'll, we'll, we'll check in with some of these vendors and maybe look at some of these locations just to kind of see what things look like now that we have maybe had our final progression in time. Look at that. The beautiful night sky. Can we see the moon from here? We can. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Sekiro has its own distinct look from the other games, the other FromSoft games. And sometimes it can be just absolutely breathtaking. I love it. How you doing, buddy? I think I got you mixed up <laughs> the other day. I think I called you Aniyama. Fujioka, the info broker. That's still the same. So the time progresses, but dialogue doesn't necessarily progress for most folks, it seems. However, what has changed in terms of your stock. See, this is where I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know what was here last time. I haven't been keeping well. 
we do have a new memo. So that is one thing for sure that we can see has changed. I don't remember you carrying scrap iron or black gunpowder, so there have been some additions. These as well? Divine confetti and snap seeds? I don't remember those. Okay, so there are some significant additions here. At first, I wasn't sure if I had purchased... I don't think I bought any Dragon's Blood droplets. So I think these are probably unchanged. But, but here we have another memo. Which could end up being... <laughs> Like the three-story Pagoda memo and the Sabi Maru memo. I suppose this one was actually kind of useful. Much much more than this one. Because the Sabi Maru memo at least kind of clued in my brain to the fact that there was more to explore in the castle. I already kind of was there because there were doors that were unopened at the bottom. So I probably could have got there without the memo. But we also want to purchase all the things, I think, eventually. So this is something to aim for. Also, I'm not exactly sure what it would say. The Valley Apparitions Memo. A note about apparitions in the Sunken Valley. Apparitions in the Sunken Valley. That one could be worth, because I don't immediately know what it would be referring to. But that's cool. We have new stock at one vendor. I also still have been thinking about our friend Hanbei. And maybe this will be something we can do sometime soon is, is sort of discuss the Mortal Blade. Because maybe, maybe we want to, um, it's, a, it's a, always a little tough talking about, uh, you know, it's a character in a video game. It's a character in a video game, and ultimately you're just playing a game. It's just pixels on a screen. <laughs> but when you're, when you're, when you're talking about, uh, even if it's helping a friend, helping a friend. Maybe you should, instead of thinking about it as helping a friend die, you think about it as helping them on to the next stage of existence. Anyway, look at this view. Look at this view. We'll, we'll continue to ponder Hanbei, but I think I'm interested to see. It is kind of a cruel fate to be eternally undying, and it may be doing him a favor to sever the ties of immortality, so to speak. So far, the enemy placements all look the same. Once again, I have explored the outskirts pretty extensively recently, so I'm not totally sure what all has changed besides the gorgeous full moon. So let's quickly check at, we'll look at which one here, this guy. Um, we'll see what has changed with Aniyama. Still don't know. I think I might have screwed up whatever quest line is supposed to happen here with bringing... I thought that bird might have been dead for a second. Whatever whatever I was supposed to do to bring you a friend to help, a big friend, I think I've screwed that up. I don't think I am going to be able to complete that. You also have Divine Confetti now. That's pretty cool. Eel liver? I didn't look to see w what the price comparison was. It looks like they're probably the same. Snap seeds as well. Okay. Other than that, no. I'm looking mainly for... Like, these things are cool. Divine confetti, snap seeds. Although we haven't... Where do we... This is the big use case that I have also been looking for. We used them against Lady Butterfly a little bit. But where else? They don't work against those vengeful spirits, I don't think. I would, I would like to help with somebody big and strong, but I don't have an idea. I don't know what's up. And it looks like he's also the same. So far, so far I have, um, yeah, I see, I saw the Divine Confetti, the Eel Liver, and also the Snap Seeds are here. I've checked a couple of these Memorial Mobs so far in the outskirts and the castle, and they... Anayama as well. They all seem to have uh, the unlimited uh, rudimentary upgrade materials as well as snap seeds and confetti and eel liver. Nothing that looks like a, a new key item yet, but uh, we'll keep checking here. Looks like another interesting change here at um, Bodhisattva Valley. This lady is gone. 
the old woman here is is no longer here talking about the making the monkey dance. I I had gone back and done a little bit of re-exploring at the the bottomless hole to try to search for that um, that passageway that I have not been able to find it, to the poison pool. And the old lady was there. So she was still in her place. But out here, it makes me kind of curious maybe to check back at Senpo to see if uh, if uh, the Senpo lady is gone as well. Ha, she is gone as well. There's some candles here. But uh, I'm not sure if they have moved on somewhere. We'll be interested to see whether they pop up again. But for now, the two are two. Um, or is it one? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. But our hint givers. The ones who gave us the clues about kites and dancing monkeys. They are not here anymore. Is this the drunk guy? Is this the drunk mob? He kind of had the wheezing going on there. Maybe it says Exile Memorial Mob, but maybe now it makes sense where we got... Who we gave the dragon rot to. I think this is the guy. <laughs> Does he have anything new? He had that, um, the Dragon Spring Sake before, but otherwise, I think some of the mobs have these, they are, some of them do now have bulging coin purses, and the more advanced crafting or upgrade materials, in addition to the scrap iron and the gunpowder, but otherwise, I'm not seeing any new key items yet. But we will definitely, you know what, we'll go ahead and do it right now before I forget. Let's just do this. Let's restore the dragon rod. I, I think I'm going to be a lot less stingy now that we are later in the game, and the, 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 the dragon's blood droplets seem to be very, very plentiful. Let's just go ahead and, let's just go ahead and cure you right now, and this will actually answer our question. This will, this will answer the question as to whether or not you are the guy. Let's find out if you're still coughing and wheezing here. No, it looks like you're actually in a different pose already. Yeah, okay. So this was the guy. That's cool. Yeah, we'll be a little... We'll, we'll be a little more... Um, I'll be a little more quick on the trigger with our Dragon Rot Restoration going forward. Might as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just for the heck of it thought I would check with the pot noble as well. He is a vendor. I haven't even looked at his, his um his stock yet to see if he has anything new, but we got some additional dialogue because we have the fountainhead aroma. That's interesting. I hadn't thought of that as being the catalyst to perhaps give us new interactions. Would there be anybody else that might have different dialogue or rewards for us? We have some truly special bait. Sorry, truly precious bait. Same thing, I guess. If bait has hair, you know it's something truly special. These slugs do have hair, don't they? It's making me think of, like, Celestial Emissary from Bloodborne. <laughs> the Bloodborne parallels keep popping up. Hmm. I guess it's special, all right. The Harata Noble in the pot is obsessed with thoughts of becoming a master. Oh. He who receives the scales of the carp becomes closer to a carp himself. I bestow unto you my secret treasure. Thoughts of becoming a master. Is that part of his dialogue? W was that part of his dialogue that I have completely forgotten about? I... Hmm. Do we need to... Ah, the great carp of the divine realm. I see. 
お主に火なる宝を授けようぞ。Your secret treasure, huh? What a fun surprise. Okay, the great carp of the divine realm. So there's probably something in the Fountainhead Palace that we're going to do with that. Which maybe is where we're going to use the precious bait. Or was it precious bait? Let's, we'll look at our items here in a second. I'm used to waiting at this point. Okay. Um, you don't have any new stock. However, however... Let's go ahead and buy this. I'll hold off on buying the... Well, maybe I will actually hold off on this now. If there is something having to do with the Great Carp in the Divine Realm, maybe there's another vendor where we can um, use our scales. Maybe. <laughs> so I will continue to deliberate on this a little longer. But that is a fascinating pickup. <laughs> Let's look at this one more time. He's the one that has the thoughts of becoming... It is called Precious Bait. Just the kind of bait the Master loves. Maybe the Master is... Maybe the Master is this Divine Carp? Or Great Carp of the Divine Realm, whatever it was called? Okay, ring the bell, drop the bait. Maybe that's what we're going to be doing soon. We'll see. Here's our antique map as well. All filled in now, I would presume, <laughs> considering we got the achievement that said we were, we've been to every single zone. But there's the Fountainhead Palace at the top. Miba Village does get uh, a spot there, which I think we'd seen before. Fountainhead Palace is so gorgeous. So yeah, so we didn't find anything outside of the um, the memo here at Ani, uh, Fujioka. There wasn't anything incredibly new. Some good, some good um, purchase opportunities at the Memorial Mob vendors. Amazing. But um, let's go ahead and let's have a little happy hour with with the sculptor. I don't think we have treated you to the the unrefined sake yet. So, and I think we've done that at least once with the others. So let's um, let's have a little happy hour and continue to get the uh, the dialogue here from the different drink options. He's just savoring, <laughs> taking the time to savor. <laughs> うん。その左腕か。え、この先を好きなお方に切り落とされたのに。うう。それは一心様が。うん。切ってくださったのじゃ。I oh oh think it's for my sake in this case and not my sake. <laughs> Although, that latter one is kind of funny to think about. What the hell is that? Or who is that, maybe? Shura? But it sounded... No, he said he was about to be consumed by something. He cut it off for his sake. I'm gonna... Not his sake, probably. Ishin does love to drink. Who knows? But Shura's shadow... What the hell is he talking about? That one is a new term. And it doesn't feel like it's related to dragon rot or anything like that. Or the undying or infested or anything. We'll have to think about that one. Hey, we just we just we just shared a cup of tea, my dude. You don't wanna you don't wanna have too much tea. Drink that tea in moderation. 
Let's also check in now with Kuro and Emma. We have um, nighttime is upon us. A good time to just quickly check with our notable NPCs just to see. Do a little NPC sweep. Looking for new dialogue. Probably not going to have any, but you never know. Right, that's the same as before. Got it, got it. We'll do another drink with you sometime, maybe. This Dragon Spring, I don't know about the Dragon Spring. I'm hoping that there are going to be multiple copies, but so far we only have one. So we might have to make a choice as to who we share that with. That's kind of what I figured, just a quick little status update. Hmm. Oh, really? That's cool. Okay, so he is sort of aware of the interior ministry, which I, I, I'm presuming they are the ones who are infiltrating the castle, which does seem to be an ongoing situation, although we haven't checked around the castle now that the... Who knows what has changed once again, maybe. It might be worth exploring at some point. Let's quickly check with Ishin as well. Same as before, and then we have the option to... Um, we have not done monkey booze with Ishin yet, and we might do that next time. But for now... Nothing new from him. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the Divine Child. We're going to head back to... It is funny that uh, we gave the update to Kuro. We gave the update about... we Yeah, we got to the Fountainhead Palace. We didn't have to tell him anything about the corrupted monk or the true monk. No need to bore him with the, um, the gruesome details. But let's head back to the other key location here, the Inner Sanctum, and let's check in and see... Make sure the Divine Child is doing all right. We gave her... Oh my. Oh. So we gave her the fruits of the serpent. And it appears that she has shut herself in. <laughs> oh my god, I hope you're doing okay. Oh no. I love that subtitle though. A very definitive and descriptive subtitle. Writhing in pain beyond the door. Okay, so it is is actually going to be maybe some time still before we can kind of get a look through the um, through the blinds and see that she is she is going through a bit of an ordeal. I probably would as well. I probably wouldn't be looking so looking so hot if I uh, if I had ingested that stuff. Ugh. I hope it's worth it. I hope I hope it is. Um, it is the right... I hope it was the right thing to do, because we've definitely set those... Um, set that into, into motion. All right, I think we are ready to head back and continue our exploration at the Fountainhead... The Fountainhead Palace. Is this the same as the Divine Realm? I think I was sort of equating these two, but I don't know if the Divine Realm... The Divine, the, the Divine Realm might be another zone somewhere beyond here, but man, look at this place. It is so beautiful. It is so gorgeous, and I love the music. I'm, I'm kind of, as I wanted to do last time, I'm almost immediately wanting to just just hang out here and, and soak in this awesome environment. The awesome vibe. It looks like there is only one way to proceed, which is this direction here, so let's Let's get to it. I'm sure that the the um, the serene and visually pleasing environment is going to quickly be disturbed by <laughs> tough enemies kicking my ass.
What are we potentially dealing with here, though? Looking around for any. I see some spirit emblems. No enemies immediately apparent. Maybe we'll be getting a lot more of these vengeful spirits popping up. Also, looking at the waterfall. Awesome waterfall, but I don't think we're supposed to be falling down. It feels like one of those... Fall to your death, as opposed to some being somewhere to potentially swim. I'm still not spotting any... Any enemies yet. Let's look around a little bit more. There is somebody up there. I thought I might have just made out, just barely made out, the figure of somebody. I can't quite tell what their outfit looks like. It looks... They've got, like, some baggy pants and then maybe some shoulder pads. Hard to say from this distance. Oh, it's a Miss Noble? Do I need to be worried about you spotting me? Or are you just as weak? Just as weak as your, um... Am I actually trapped behind this thing here? Okay, there was, there was terror that was building up. The music also kind of... I was curious to see how the music would change when we got into combat. We weren't, in, we weren't in combat very long there. That terror seemed to build up very quickly. The Miss Noble does seem to be <laughs> one of those fights that's just very easy. And I, I definitely overprepared for it. But I also am curious, like, if you were if you were going to... If you, for, some, for whatever reason, did not just start attacking right away. And you actually let the Miss Noble get going. Would you actually get your ass handed to you very quickly? Alright, I see the Miss Noble here, but I'm also wondering about somebody... It looks like that person is over behind some blinds. So I think we can sneak up on you. Also, you seem to die in one hit, similar to the others. The whole fish situation, though, why is this a thing? Why have you all basically turned into... You're also kind of luminescent, aren't you? Why have you turned in... ...to these... ...this sort of a creature? What a look! What a, uh... What an enemy design. There's also some, uh... What are we looking at here on the table? What are these? Some little notes? There's quite a few things in the environment here. We've seen some of these assets before. Incense burner, I guess. This little lamp here is very pretty. It feels like there's so much to soak in. So you might find me... As I, as I do from time to time, or I, I tend to do as I'm going into new zones, I might just kind of find myself sitting there in silence, just absorbing all the little details. Some of these buildings, though, there, there is some clear deterioration, right? The wall has... I don't know if this wall was meant to block water in some way, but it is definitely... Um, seen better days. I'm seeing also now what might have been that enemy up on the cliff. There's a couple of them patrolling here. You look more formidable than the than the Miss Nobles. There might be a Miss Noble hiding under the under the door there in that building. But there are two of you and you seem to have giant bows. Which is not necessarily the scariest thing. Bows um, ranged, ranged battle. Sometimes those opponents are actually a lot weaker than the others. Let's see about, um, I guess there's a grapple point up here we can get. 
There was an item back over there that I didn't grab yet. I'm not forgetting about that, but I'm just seeing about dealing with these guys first. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the drop on both of them. I'm going to have to settle for sneaking up on one. Unless I do something with pebbles here. Maybe that's what we can do. Try to use our shinobi ways. Get you to come over here ever so slowly as you... All the enemies are... I wish they would move a little more quickly. You look very cool, though. Your outfit is pretty awesome. You also look very fishy. Similar to... Similar to the Mist Nobles. You kind of... You're, you're, you're not quite fully as progressed as they are. You still have sort of normal-ish hands and feet. But, um... But you're on the path to becoming fish-like. All right, let's go and get this item now. There is somebody else aggroing to me. Where was that? Where was that enemy? Up there, I see. Okay. So let's make our way here. And I guess you're not patrolling. You're sort of just set in your position there, so we'll go around this side. There's also somebody down here doing some... What is this called when you're doing these, these, um... Oh, is it... Is it Tai Chi? Where you're doing these, uh... It's not yoga, but it's, uh... It's kind of like an exercise, meditative sort of thing that involves sort of dance-like movements. I'm probably completely getting that mixed up with something else. Is there anybody else around that we should be worried about? We can do a ledge hang here to see if there's anybody hanging out down here. But I think... I think we're just going to be sneaking up on you. This area is so large. There is so much to this. Oh, you're having a good time, huh? Who saw me? Up in the roof. The roof, the rooftops. I should have known the rooftops should have been the first place that we, that we, um, examined. There are three of you up here, too. I was so distracted by the person having fun, hanging out by the lake. Let's get to taking you all out, though. They sound like they might be women, but it also could just be the the vocal cords have taken on a fish-like quality, and so it's not clear. There is so much to this place, and we haven't even gone underwater yet. I definitely want to be exploring underwater. But I also kind of want to get... see if I can get the drop on you. You're looking in this direction. I was hoping you would turn around. Maybe you don't have to get completely stealthy. It's probably a good idea to engage in some combat. Because we're going to probably have to face you at some point. Sorry to interrupt. But I also need this item. Ooh, that's a lump of grave wax. We can now, I think, get... We can get that, um, that Mist Raven upgrade that I needed another Grave Wax for. I can see, I can see a carp down here. I can see several carp and I can also hear a cannon. Lightning, oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa, so that person hanging out up there. I don't know if you have similar arrows. Let's drink really fast. Whoa, I got fucked up. That is, holy shit. Well, we're not just going to be unless we go underwater very quickly, and maybe we're safe underwater from lightning arrows. Whoa. Let me take a look at you one more time. Yeah, you are you are ready. You are ready and waiting. You are not 
Was it was it even an arrow or was it some other sort of a spell maybe? I am not ready to take you on. We need to do a little bit more exploring around here first. Let's quickly we're, we've got this building to find a way inside. I'm not exactly sure how to get in yet, but let's let's look back over here. We've been very steadily, methodically kind of making our way through. We did we were in this building already. We took out the Miss Nobles inside. And then here is there an entrance that I have just Here's the entrance. Okay. Oh shit. Well, you were you are at the exact right angle to spot me. So let's see if we can do quickly take you out. Okay. So that we had the one attack that built up terror on us. But other than that, they are definitely not the most threatening. They also drop lumps of grave wax. There will be, I'm sure, be one of those enemies. One of those Miss Nobles. You are right here. I totally forgot about you. One of these Miss Nobles that actually does get the drop on us and, and actually kills us with terror. That's probably going to be a thing that happens. For now, we will try our best to avoid that fate. But I guess we're going to be making our way through this village first before we go into the underwater. Because it seems the under... Well, I am kind of curious to see, could we make it underwater? Could we actually go underwater and not get destroyed by the person shooting? No, we do get destroyed. Holy shit, we're going to die. Okay, we didn't die. We are not safe anywhere in the water. That stuff will get you above and below. Wow. Okay, well... So I'm guessing we need to take you out before we even think about exploring the water, which means this is the way to proceed over here. I'm also sort of... I was thinking about lightning reversal for a second, but I don't think you can... There's nothing really... There's no way to reverse lightning when you're in the water, right? Unless, is that what that technique, the technique that, um, let's do a little bit of science here. The technique that, that lets us jump out of the water, mm, maybe not. Maybe I'll do that science later. Let's, when we have maybe a little bit better handle or another warp, uh, sculptor's idol that we've established somewhere. I was thinking there is that special jump move that lets you sort of get some height out of the water, but but eventually you come back down, right? And you have to be able to dispel or, or reverse the lightning before you hit the ground. So I don't know that that would work. And I'm actually not willing to do that little bit of science here at the moment. We have some type of new doggo, though. Can I get a, can I get a better look at these, though? These look very strange. I want to take a closer look. One of you I want to turn around so I can see your face. Or I can just keep going and see this one, maybe. Take a look at you. What in the fuck? What in the hell type of dog is this? God damn. Fortunately, the doggos in, in Sekiro have not been nearly as deadly as some of their counterparts in other games but that design right there is is fucking <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you're supposed to be that is insane I think there was one over here in the in the house as well there's also sounds like another um, another noble I do not have the ability to use prosthetics in the air. That is one thing I have not picked up. I, I see I see the noble I see the noble here on the other side of the wall. The tail sticking out. You gave yourself away from soft from soft uh, physics. The laws of from soft physics and and tails being able to poke through walls gave you away. Oh. So one of you just drops precious bait. We found now three of these. 
What are we going to be using them for? I wonder. I wonder. Adamantite scrap. More doggos. More out here as well. I killed both of those with one gouging top. That was kind of cool. I didn't realize I could do that. Like a splash damage from the gouging top that I never noticed before. I'd like to get up on the um, the roof as well at some point. See what's up here. There is a there is a person hanging out meditating. Do you have a a different type of mask? No, it's just your your headpiece is a little bit. You do have a sword. But you're also on the way. You're on the way to turning into a fish. I think. I don't I can't say for sure. There was another person up here though. This area is something else. Lots of good experience we're getting. Which you would expect at this stage in the game. Getting the sense that I'm that I'm missing things, but I feel like we're we're covering all the bases here. We're we're just slowly, steadily, methodically going through. Checking out. Looking for some secrets as well. Waterfall secrets, anybody? Does not seem like it. But any any loot hiding out here on the outside? I think we've been here now. Or been here before. And we're safe now, I think, to go for these items. Coin purse. Boom goes sugar. It's such a... Uh, like the music. The music just keeps putting me so at ease. There are doggos up here. Okay, I miss those. It was, it was, um, rudely interrupted, rudely interrupted by the, um, that lightning attack. The, the, the lightning attack. Really, really, they all have lightning attacks. That, that is the theme of the zone here, I guess. Even the doggos can shoot lightning. Now, that one seemed much more dodgeable. But, oh my god. We are going to be in for it here, aren't we? I I'm probably going to need to put eel liver on the bar. That might not be a bad move. Let me read what it does again. It doesn't like... Um, it sort of makes you more durable against... What was it? Shock status? Yeah. Oh, it greatly reduces the amount of d damage received from lightning attacks. I don't know if I need it on my bar, but I'm sure we're going to be using this sooner rather than later. I have still not used a Yashiriko's Sugar. Have not found myself brave enough yet. But what we have found is a Sculptor's Idol. Great. I think we can. I think we can safely go ahead and rest here at Mibu Manor. I feel like we. Uh, let me just give one more quick look in this area before I respawn all the enemies, just to make sure there wasn't something maybe under the buildings or elsewhere that I had overlooked. But I think we did a pretty good first sweep. Felt like we felt like we covered it all. I guess I can check over here. And uh, maybe this is another spot where you get zapped by lightning. If you go anywhere near the lake, maybe you have to actually get in the lake. I do see the carps. Like, that was the first thing I saw when I was about to go underwater. I saw what I presume to be the, um, the treasure carps. And then zap! Lightning, motherfucker! Can I go over here? Maybe we have shelter here that where we can dive down. Looks like we do have shelter. 
there's another... There's something... It's just a fish, I think. A fish that... A fish that seemed to be bigger than some of the others. Let's dive down here. Let's dive down here. Is that guy still aggroing to us? I think that is that is the delineation here, is that there are just there are surface fish and there are um, underwater fish. So we have a little place of shelter here that, that allows us to kind of look underwater and see what is around. But as soon as we as soon as we leave this shelter, we are we are really in for a um, some pain, which I suppose we could go to this other spot over here. No, I, that is not safe there. Shit. That place was not safe. We have a bit of shelter. I need to drink. But it's not that safe. I wonder why. Because it looks like a building that should shelter us. I don't know exactly if I did the mechanic wrong there. Okay, but for now... Let's, let's presume... Shit. Oh my god. It is? You are getting damaged when you fall in the water. Obviously, that makes sense from a from a physics perspective. Uh, falling into the water with that lightning, with that... Um, the shock aura, whatever it is. I was seeing if I could do... Maybe I could have done the lightning reversal there. This might be an okay spot to test this out. Let's see. If I rest here, do I have the ability to go to the other side? I am going to rest either way just because we now, um, we actually have a lot of Sen. My goodness. I did not realize. We're, we're going to rest. And let's explore this area here. What is what is in this spot? We're going inside this building. I thought for a second there might be like a way to get back to the water, but there's no... You have to go back out through here, through where the dogs are. That's something I will be interested in testing later. Trying to see how the lightning reversal can work there, if, if it's something we can do with those attacks. But for the moment, I'm going to find a way to spend my Sen. How do I want to do this? 1,470? Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll buy this other memo. Let's find out what this is about. We'll get, we'll get that, and we'll also buy a... Um, I think we have a 600 Sen upgrade here. That's really... I am, I am, I am mildly surprised at how quickly... We uh, accrued both Sen and Skill Point experience just through that first section of the Fountainhead Palace. That is the place. If we're gonna, if we're gonna think about farming Sen at any point, that's where maybe we use our Mibu balloons of wealth. I think, I think we'll pick up this Mountain Echo. Or do I want this? I have not really been using the finger yet. <laughs> the finger. I don't know if we had talked about this, but it's got, I think, a couple different effects. It the the effect of using it as a pebble, but also I think there is another effect that it has on beasts, where it sort of drives them into a rage, supposedly. But which one of these? I don't think it matters at the moment. What I'm thinking is just sort of building toward this malcontent. That that bit of dialogue that we got from was it the sculptor? Really had this, gave me this idea that maybe if we have the right a uh, prosthetic upgrade, the right version of the finger upgraded, we might be able to trigger something back at Bodhisattva Valley. It's kind of a long shot, but it makes me, it, it, it makes me curious if that might be a thing. So I will grab, let's go ahead and get, what is the difference on this one? Mountain Echo. I don't know what, why we would want a delayed sound. 
after um, after blowing the finger whistle. For now, I'll just get this one because this adds a deflect, I think, to your umbrella shelter. So if we start using the umbrella again, it does give us a deflect option. So let's grab that. And we will head back to head back to the the valley here. Not the valley, the, the Fountainhead Palace. And see if we can avoid getting zapped to death. Mibu Manor. That's right, the name of this place is Mibu Manor. We have Mibu Village. And then going through Mibu Village gets us to the Fountainhead Palace. So one of you here. Yeah, you instantly started hitting us with a terror attack. This is the only way, right? The only entrance. This over here is just... Like, these are not doors that open. And there's no grapple point. So we have to go through here. Mibu Manor. What does the name... What does the name Mibu mean? What significance does it have, if any? No! I thought you were an enemy. I saw... I saw you here holding, like, the... The things that the other... There have been other ladies, enemies, like in the castle that are just there to kind of alert the other enemies, and I thought you were you were an enemy, and I was totally... I should have tried to target you. I'm sorry that I almost tried to slice your head off just now. My bad. Alice Nobles, okay. I'm already sort of trying to find a way around because of the whole lightning situation, but also if we've got these nobles that are trying to sap the, the youth out of us, that's uh that's another good reason. You're not looking so hot yourself. Did you get did you get the youth sapped out of you? And what are you holding? This makes me this makes me think of like one of those um what is it the thing that the the bishop or whatever would 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 sprinkle you with holy water? And this, I don't know what this is. It looks almost like um a bracelet of some kind. Maybe it's just a candle. A candle holder that's run out. It's such an interesting atmosphere here. Finding myself very interested in what's going on. God damn it, what the fuck? How did you even spot me? Who spotted me? Okay, I'm seeing... Obviously, there is a... Maybe it was you that spotted me. You're actually pretty close, aren't you? I was thinking maybe it was somebody across the way. Because I do see an archer over there. And I also see another noble that's dressed in red. Which maybe is a, um, a tougher version of you all. Let me get this out of the way here. They don't seem... They don't seem to be... Oh no, it was the, the the noble in red, wasn't it? So you have vision that's... You really can see far. So we need to be... I might might use some Gotchen sugar. Or that's why they've given you this convenient path. That sort of is out of sight. And that's why we've been warned. We've been warned by the lady. Go around. Don't try to go through the center. So let's do that for now. Let's go around and we'll try to follow the the clues of oh you're about to see us here. Maybe wait for you to turn around. Yep. And then we'll go over this way and we'll get you. Let's check over here. This is the other side now where the um other side of where the idol was. Some sugar. We can just wait for you to turn around and then go go for it here. 
I am hearing some growling. Some un some unsettling growling. What the hell was that? Ooh. Are you a tougher enemy? At some point here, we're going to get a double death blow enemy, right? Maybe not you, though. What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to suck the youth out of us, aren't you? That's exactly what that attack is. And um, that's what was happening with the rest of you who were instantly trying to um, suck the youth out of us and also accumulate the terror. That's exactly what was happening. We'll come back for that other... I am definitely hearing some growling here. Gunpowder. How do we get to the other side of this wall, though? To see what is growling at us. Whoa. What in the hell? I'm trying to look through. Do you have antlers? It's like, it's a giant... Is it a giant bull? Maybe that's what it is. I can't really see you. How do I get through? Maybe we can go up on the roof and around? That might be the key. I'm very curious to see what's go what's on the other side of that wall. We could already get a, a sort of a peek. Where are the grapple points, though? Can I jump up to this? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. There's a grapple point there. But that is, like, on the other side, I think. Oh, but there's one here, too. Oh, it's going up to, like, a place in the... Oh, there's two of you patrolling. There's a bunch of you patrolling. Holy shit. Do you all come this way? Do you, do you come this far? Or do you turn around? This could be a little hairy for me, because you might not come into view, or you might not be in range of doing a... There you do. Okay. I was wondering if I was going to be able to get a sneak attack on all of them, but um, but unfortunately not. We do have the ability to turn one of you around, which I might want to try to do here. There we go. Now one of you. Let's let's see about learning your moves. Oop, too slow on the deflect there. And then you come with another move, so you've got a whole combo. Whole combo of moves there. I would like to use my Shadow Fall. I do have Shadow Fall equipped. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and see about using that here in a moment, maybe. After we do some more deflecting. I didn't get to use it hardly at all against the against the corrupted monk. The true monk. Okay. All right. They have they have some combos. They have some combos and some quick swings where they can definitely get the drop on you and I I do not I'm I'm definitely glad that we use the the divine abduction on one of you. Oh, you're up in the ceiling or the um the crawl space. I was wondering where that other yellow arrow was. Okay. Finally getting into combat with um with you guys and I'm glad that I've been using the stealth methods for the most part and I've been <laughs> able to Avoid that combat for the most part. So if I go up into the crawl space, am I going to get spotted immediately by a bunch of you? We're in a different crawl space. I see. But I, I hear breathing. I think there's like people directly on the roof above. But these crawl spaces are maybe, yeah, how we get into the different sections of this building here. Let me explore a little bit more over here first. Was, were there other, were there crawl spaces here that we could get into? I don't think I missed any of those. Might have to go back to the building with the, um, the lady that we talked to. But let's, uh, let's proceed forward for the moment. 
We have the, the flute. The flute plane to guide us. To at least some of our objectives. You just drop down over here, though. The noise! The noise uh, alerted you. Another lump of grave wax. That was unfortunate. I was hoping to get the... the it's These nobles, they're not the hardest enemy, right? They just die in one hit. I don't know why I'm so... I'm just... I, 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 I'm, I'm in my... I'm thinking in my mind of the hollows. I always remember the hollows from DS1 were like the first lesson of never underestimate the enemy that you think is weak and that you can just demolish instantly because they will have some trick up their sleeve that you are not expecting and they will fuck you up. Divine Confetti. So we're getting Grave Wax, which is good. That is one of the last crafting materials that we've been that we've been waiting for. I'm also hoping to find a spot where we can grapple onto the onto the rooftops. Which way do we want to proceed here? That that way has um, a guard that could see us. This is the building I think with the red noble, which I presume is like a major objective. The, the palace nobles don't seem to have long range attacks like their ability their ability to kind of suck the life out of you their ability to suck the life out of you does not seem to extend long range what was the what was the perilous attack there it was a sweet move. I got a little confused. I was thinking, okay, you have a halberd, so you're probably going to have sweep, a sweep attack as your perilous blow. But then it looked like, it looked like she didn't initiate it, so it was a little confusing. One enemy, one enemy down though. I don't think we actually have to worry about the nobles in the middle. I just want to focus on getting the drop on the one in red, or maybe just go up and attack it. Maybe it's just as weak as everybody else. And we just need to get the one that is guarding you. Let's go around this side. There's not... Um, we're going to have to confront one way or the other. So why don't we go ahead and get a stealth. Let's get... Um, let's actually get the... Let's, let's do some puppeteer on you. I did not get Puppeteer on either of you. I just, I shouldn't have been ducking. I shouldn't have been crouching. All right, I'm finally getting to play with my Shadow Fall though, which is what I've just, I've wanted to do all this time. All of last episode, I was, I was bemoaning the fact that I couldn't use Shadow Fall and now I finally get to play with my toy and it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. The Red Noble, yes, was just as weak as the rest. Just because you're dressed in red, I had no reason to fear. Even without getting the... Oh, this is a chest. Ooh, what's in the chest? What is in the chest? Divine Grass is good. I was kind of hoping for a second it would be our fourth prayer beat. Divine Grass is not bad, though. That's an okay pickup. I'm fine with that. All right, let's take you guys out. Um, I guess I was doing the running attack there, as opposed to the backstab. All right, now feeling a little safer that we have fully cleared out the area. These these nobles are really, you just need to be careful of the one, the one attack that they can do short range. And if you just, if you just don't fall prey to that attack, it looks like you are good to go. Now, can we get on the roof here at all? Because I'm very curious to see about that bull or whatever that big creature is that is hiding on the other side of the wall, how the heck do we get to that? I am not seeing a grapple point so far at any at any point. A grapple point at any point. I am not seeing a grapple hook spot anywhere. We've seen this, the um, 
the little crawl space in the in the ceiling, but that did not seem to lead outside. I guess this seems to be the way forward, and we don't have a way. We have to very quickly, I guess, um, just take you out very quickly. Did you have a lightning attack? Did somebody try to hit me with lightning just now? You did have a lightning attack. Mmm. Lightning. Lightning is the flavor of the month with all of you. I'm okay. I'm okay to spam some Shadowfall. You? You are not building up very much posture damage. Wow. So, so the, the way the lightning reversal works is you jump in the air, right? And then while you're still in the air with the lightning, you are one to bring it down. I don't know if I have, I don't know if I'm brave enough to try to attempt that with you. I think I'm just going to be spamming my shadow fall and see if I can see if it'll work. Who's building up terror on me though? It's, it's the enemy over there. So there is a bit of a long range attack. I was, I was building up terror that entire time. The nobles do seem to be able to affect you. There was a, there was a noble in the background there that was, that was, um, in, that had gotten into combat with us. And maybe is still in combat with us? We were so close. We were so close to dying there from terror. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of some other ability that I hadn't seen yet coming into play. I almost kind of want to have you as a puppet. I almost kind of want to have you on my side with your lightning attacks and whatnot. That feels like you could be a very powerful ally, but I have also used the last of my spirit emblems, so I don't know. Might not have been the smartest move. What happened to you? Where are you? What are you looking at? Are you aggro to something that I am not aware of? Sometimes it feels like the um, the puppeteer AI is a uh, a bit lacking. I did see a sculptor's idol here. I was wondering if I had if I had seen a sculptor's idol. Okay, cool. Let's lock that in. Let's lock that into into place. Let's get our loot. We are completely well, almost completely out of spirit emblems, but that might be all right. Is there anything else? Let me quickly just check in here. To make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I don't see any um, any grappling hook spots or anything like that that we would have missed. So I think maybe going around this side over here. There's also the... Um, we've made it to the pagoda already. But I think maybe going around this side is how we get up to the rooftops and maybe around to whatever that big creature is over there. Uh, it is really fascinating how fast we are building up Sen and experience. It's kind of awesome. They really, um, uh, maybe they really want us to get all of the upgrades after all. Let's quickly travel. Let's go back and spend some more Sen. Uh, I, I feel like we're kind of behind maybe in upgrading stuff. But this, this is, um, looking to catch us up very quickly. Let's take a look at the, at the we're, we're, vis we're visiting the sculptor a lot today. Saying hi to the sculptor. Upgrade prosthetic tools. We can actually afford this. And we have the grave wax now. So why don't we go ahead and just pick this up and we'll um hopefully we're going to be very soon picking up this lapis lazuli. Is there anything else that we could get? Uh, obviously we could get like we could get one of these and one of these. We could buy two upgrades, the Okanaga's flame vent. What did this do again? This was the one that used the pine resin. A continuous stream of flames. There are so many potentially very, very cool upgrades. Piercing Sabe Maru. And at the same time, sometimes it feels like option overload. There's just almost too many things to try to get. Let's get the Mist Raven. Because the this one is actually could this could be pretty powerful. The red mist raven. 
That's after taking damage. But this improved stance, the red mist stance, you're able to just teleport. You don't have to wait for the enemy to do anything. You can just move. And then it also burns enemies along your path. I kind of want to try this. Let's grab this. And if we're getting as much Sen as the game is throwing at us here, we're not going to be, we're not going to have to be too choosy about our, our, our upgrade options anymore. So that's cool. So why don't we go ahead and, and just um, equip that? It is pricey. That's the one downside to this. I still have not been using the Sparking Axe very much. <laughs> uh, it's just option overload. It seriously is too many things to focus on. Let's try this one. So now we should be able to go out here. I don't know if you have to go out here to where you're able to swing your sword or not, but we can assume the stance. Wait, why is it not, um, why is it not working? Is it because we have to be in combat? I'm trying to hold down. It's not working, but I think maybe it's because we have to like be in combat and locked onto something. So let's go try to fight somebody and, and we'll see how this works out. Back to the Fountainhead Palace, the flower viewing stage. We're making uh, okay progress here, at least in terms of getting checkpoints. They are, they do seem to be a little bit generous. These, these checkpoints seem to be relatively quick, but let's start checking around to see I don't know, we probably, this this person is still watching us. So as soon as we go near the water, we're, oh, they're holding like a, like a, a lightning grenade or something, aren't they? It's some sort of canister. That's what it is. Gotcha. Well, either way, we don't want to go this way just yet. This direction, let's explore. And now if we go in the water here, is there somebody that's going to be zapping us? Yes. It has a homing effect too. So anytime we go in the water anywhere, the, the swimmable water, we are we are getting hit. You don't seem to care about us when we're just on the the waiting pool. The waiting pool depth. Ah, there is a grappling hook to the roof. Okay. I'm curious to check out this structure really fast. Is there anything to f there is an item here. Of just divine confetti. It is so gorgeous here. Like, look at this view. This is so beautiful. I'm really kind of blown away by the um, just amazing job they have done with this particular. This particular area is just so gorgeous. All right, here is all the breathing that we heard. All the breathing that we. Um, got a preview of when we were climbing through the crawl space in the in the attic. Do I have to duck here? Not sure if I have to duck or not. Just to be safe, we'll do it. Just to be on the safe side. There's you here, and then there's you there. Is there anybody else? I might be in view. I might be in view of you if I go for this guy. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Not shooting lightning arrows, which is a bit surprising. Oh, you are very tough, though. You are tough. I'm gonna have to find the right spot to drink. You did not go down as, as many... Whoa, what, what is that attack? Oh, shit. So you, br you bust out your sword as well. I'm going to try not to drink. Now I'm going to have to drink. Just able to get a... There is a... The bull with some sort of divine confetti on its horns that I can see in the background. Sakura Bull of the Palace, we engaged it. We engaged the bull. No. Not yet, I was not ready. I was not ready, how in the world? Okay, I, I, I had some business to finish up here. All right, let's grab a pellet. We have now, we've gotten 
the bull is on our case. It is so interesting that you can that you can aggro that fight from up here. Does is it able to attack us at all? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, so firecrackers, right? Firecrackers is the story against the bull. Do I want to do I want to give myself extra Let's get the firecrackers. Long spark, it costs two. So it would be kind of helpful to give myself extra spirit emblems, right? Why don't we do that? Can I do it from the roof? Now I'm going to I'm going to presume that similar to wow you are a looker aren't you similar to the blazing bull the move set is going to be similar and that the, the goal here is simply going to be to stay at your rear which I have I have been doing on when I've been starting fresh files the the the, the strat has been just all about staying on your rear you are charging kind of endlessly though which makes the strategy a little harder to I need you to like stop every once in a while. But we could use firecrackers again. That gives us several hits. We just need to be careful that you don't do that little headbutt to the side. Catch us off guard. But this should be okay. Sakura Bull of the Palace. So do you have like cherry blossoms? Cherry blossoms instead of instead of um, burning horns? It does look like there are... Wow, okay. Sakura petals. Yeah, it feels very similar. The moves do not do not feel very different at all. Maybe it would be better to bring you into this longer corridor. You have a lot more health though. That is the one thing here we might want to use a sugar. We might want to use a um, an Akko Sugar to help speed along the process. But if we stick with the strategy, if we stick with the pattern here, this should be very doable. It's just going to take a while. Which does mean that you are you are liable to fuck up. I noticed there's a grapple point up there. You do seem to be more escapable. You're 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 you you seem to have an easier time escaping compared to what compared to the other bull. Like, I kind of want to use a sugar, but I'm also a little bit worried about... A little bit about worried about... A little bit worried about you turning around and taking me out. Ah! Losing my target lock! Ah! Almost got greedy.
running OP against against the bull. It's the one it's the one positive about repeat bosses that you you kind of know what to do. <laughs> like maybe this one I think this one just has more health is really the only difference here. And it's, it so if you don't have a really consistent strategy, then you're going to maybe have a tough time because you're going to be taking ship damage over the course of a long encounter. I don't want to take another sugar. If I can get you to charge, do your thing. Now we'll take our sugar. Can I use another? We seem to be able to use this more often as well. Whoopsie. Oh, okay. Whoopsie. Hold on. We'll drink here. Yeah, see, you just... It's a long enough fight, and even if even the most consistent strategies maybe not are 100%, and you get a little out of position, and then all of a sudden you're taken. I am surprised. I was thinking maybe there might be terror damage. Might be one of the things that we would have to deal with here, given the... I actually should have been careful there. I might have gotten stomped on, but I think you're at the end. I think we're close to getting you. There we go. All right. Bull of the Palace. Out of my game. Once I get the loot, then I then I can feel safe. And exhale. Oh, you're giving us more spirit emblems, huh? You're giving us more spirit emblems. Let me guess. We're going to have 18 as our max now. Better than 17. I'll feel a lot better. There's something about 18. That was the number I was hoping for last time. Feels a lot better than 17. I mean, I'll take 19 as well if you wanted to be that generous, but I don't think that's the way we're going with our Spirit Emblem upgrades. Spirit Emblems are manifestations of regret. Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many Spirit Emblems. Perhaps this innocent beast was burdened with the karma of man. Inheriting the karma of those they've killed is also part of being Shinobi. You gotta live with your karma. Gotta live with your karma. We do, in fact, now have... 18 as our new maximum for spirit emblems. Okay, all right. I can feel a little bit better about getting the upgrade that I did. <laughs> uh, I'm still a little bit salty about it. There's three items all next to each other. How much you want to bet their coin purses? Aha, bulging coin purse, though. They're not all coin purses. Yashiriku sugar, adamantite scrap. Okay, bulging coin purse, though, is great. That is, that is awesome. We have lots and lots of Sen. And we have our fourth prayer bead. That's also awesome. Nice to have a, um, a pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward uh, mini boss. It's a repeat. Yes, it's a repeat, but it is a fourth prayer bead. It's a power up. Okay, there is a place to walk over here. I'm still a little anxious about... You. You're not throwing anything immediately. But the moment we get close to swimming, you're going to be on our case, aren't you? Like, your range... You have, like, no... Yeah, it's as soon... It's as soon as... Wow, that really... We have no way to defend against that other than maybe doing the lightning reversal. We can do our silly science now. We've gotten to the next skill point. This would be an okay spot for us to go ahead and let's go ahead and rest. And let's maybe do a little bit of silly science to try to figure out lightning reversal. We'll rest. And enhance our physical attributes for prayer beads. Prayer necklace number eight. Lone shadows are the interior ministry's most trusted agents. Each of leader Mas Masatsuna, Masatsuna Oribe's 17 born has a specialty from poison to shinobi hounds. Masatsuna, that's, that's a tough name. 
17 born. 17 born? I don't think that means that you actually had 17 children. I think it means that you... Your, your, uh, your lone shadow understudies, you had 17 of them. But that is, that is true. Some of them have poison. Some of them have the, um, controlling the, the shinobi hounds. I hadn't thought of them as that, that sort of a title. Okay, let's do our science here. Let's see, we're at a sculptor's idol. Let's try to attract the attention of you, and we'll try to... Um, I guess you have to get into the water. You actually have to swim, just barely. And then you get... So we try to jump. That's how you do it. You can do it even against that attack. If you jump and then use your sword, that is your lightning reversal. Makes sense. Now, I don't think we can do that underwater. <laughs> we cannot do that underwater, so we still are off limits. Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? I I barely got that on camera, I think. I don't even know. I thought it was like going off in this direction, but I think that was part of the bridge. What in the hell? Uh Holy shit. I apologize if I missed. I I have a I have a terrible habit of doing this with dragons and dark souls and other pre-scripted entrances or appearances of certain... Is that the boss of the area? Or one of the bosses of the area? It looked like a giant fish. Whatever brief look that I actually did see of it, it looked like a giant fish, but now it's gone. And it's broken our bridge. Wow. Once we, once we have cleared the way, once we have... Once we have made it safe to swim in the water. Is that who we're going to be facing? I'm also seeing... I'm seeing the arm of our giant, our rope giant over there in the distance. Gosh, what a cool area. Also, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, here were these statues that we saw from a distance. I thought they looked like rocks with faces because we couldn't, they weren't really drawn in very well yet. We'll check up here in a moment. Let's go over to this, let's go to this side. There is somebody up there on the waterfall. So we'll try to stay out of their view. Anybody else that is keeping watch for us, keeping a lookout for the Shinobi. An item down there underneath. Let's go around this way first. I suppose we might be, on this side, we might have shelter from the lightning enemy. Where was the person up above the waterfall? Hold on. I didn't see them from that angle. You're up there. So if we grapple, I think if we go up here, we can get behind you. Because the waterfall falls, yeah, the, the waterfall goes in multiple directions. Is there anybody on the roof? I guess we have to go right here. You have, you're holding the same, the same sort of thing. It looks like you're ready to spring into action and throw lightning at us as well. There's also somebody up on that roof. There is somebody up there. You all are holding these lightning grenades. Let's see if we can get around on the other side of you. Anybody on this side? This place is a lot of fun so far. I am, I am thoroughly enjoying the Fountainhead Palace. It's a beautiful zone. The enemies are interesting. The bull, whatever, it's a bull. <laughs> but in general, I'm finding this place, I'm really interested to know, like, what is the connection? Like, the term Mibu, is it just like a name or does it have more significance to it? There's another bridge that's been knocked out. 
Do I want to go up here? Can I get up there? I can, and I'm behind a bunch of enemies, it looks like. You did not see that, huh? Your friend died right next to you. Don't change. Never change Sekiro enemies that with no awareness of what's going on around them. Now, how do I get over to this side? How do I get over there? I did not see any grapple points, and I can't jump that far. How do we get over there? We've been up on this rooftop now, right? Maybe we haven't been to this. We haven't been to this. Uh, was there any loot up here? Doesn't look like it. So is there a grapple point that gets us up to this ledge? There is an item there. How do I get to it? How do I get there? This must be something we access from somewhere else, because I do not see a way. What a beautiful shot. But I don't see a way to get to that item. So let's head over this way. Mm. Oh, right. The grenade people are right here, aren't they? Yeah. So we want to take you guys out. We already took the archers out, so we should be safe to do that. And these guys are much weaker. Much weaker than everybody else. So... Not too much of a chore taking them out. God, it is so... Th this is where you use your Amoeba Balloons of Wealth. And you just you just rack up the Sen like crazy. I think we might be able to afford a lot more upgrades after all. I don't want to go up here. Eventually, we're going to be making our way out to that branch, right? The the one grenadier. What's the term for the... I think that's the term for the person throwing the grenades. Whoever they are, we need to make our way in that direction. But there is a wide open platform here, which could very well be some sort of a boss confrontation. We'll see. These statues are so... They're playing soccer with these, aren't they? I just realized they're playing like a little, uh, or hacky sack <laughs> with their, <laughs> what I presume to be lightning grenades. That surely has to be dangerous, doesn't it? That, that cannot be, that cannot be, um, I'm sh there's gotta be an OSHA, an OSHA regulation against that. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious though. I, I think I want to take out these two first and then go for the three over there. We haven't seen an eavesdrop yet. It looks like we still don't have one. I don't want to attract your attention, though, if I can help it. We are going to get your attention. Or you're going to get your attention is what we're going to do. Oh, there's a whole bunch of other enemies here. Hold on. I don't, I'm don't. i getting red arrows from multiple directions, which I didn't really want. I didn't realize there were two more that were kind of hidden down underneath. So what I'm going to have to do here is... Use a little bit of divine abduction. I didn't use it quick enough. That's the problem with the divine abduction. I was I was wait I was too far away. Okay. Take you out. Missed. You sort of dodged right past me. They have some quick swings. They have some quick swings that I have not been ready for in uh, a few cases. There's a reason that I'm trying to be stealthy. It's because these guys, these guys are kind of tough. Especially in multiples. 
but that kind of goes without saying for pretty much every enemy. Can I get you? Hmm, there's another enemy up there, though. So let's maybe go back here and get the loot. And what are the grapple points here that I'm... Oh, up to the tree? Okay. So can we go back up to... Go back up here? So there's three enemies here. I think we can... I think what I want to do is is grab a... Uh, do a puppeteer on one of them. Probably. And then take out the... Maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe it's better to try to get behind the enemies that are to the back. Because I think there were two over here. There's, there's an item down there, which I'll go for or try to make note of. But I want to see about taking out... There are several archers at the back here. And I feel like there are also some enemies, like, below me. Oops. Fish? Doggos. Alright, just a couple doggos hanging out in the water, hanging out in the waterfall, taking a little bath. Is there anything else that I missed over here? It's a lot of levels. There's a lot of verticality to this area. But I think I've I think I've scoured this direction. There's there's so many enemies as well, kind of at each of those different levels, and, and that's what I'm trying to not walk into too many hairy situations. But it it feels like this is the spot to be coming at coming at everything from behind. These guys, these guys are tougher though. They have the, the lightning attacks as well, which we, sh which we should try doing some reversal on, right? That would be a good idea. Wow, three perilous blows, huh? I was in the middle of doing... Yeah, these, these guys do not fuck around. So... Let's back up a little bit here before I aggro another enemy. Let's try to get you down here. But it would be nice if I could do the lightning reversal. Too many enemies in the in the same spot. Dang. This is annoying. I thought that I had cleared out th this this one guy who was patrolling here. I thought I had cleared you out. Sometimes the shadow fall, aka shadow rush, goes in at the at the wrong time. All right, you seemed strangely passive there at the end. Not sure what that was about. I really want to try to get a lightning reversal, but my mind is having a little a tough time. As soon as there's like, as as soon as I see yellow arrows coming in from the sides my mind is immediately like, okay, I need to, like, retreat from this situation because I'm about to get... I'm about to get flanked. And outflanked. So let's see if we can get back to that enemy. I wanted to see if I could get a lightning reversal against her. But she's probably just going to be open to a backstab again here. Yeah, you're the one we took on before, right? I'm actually going to get you on my side. I'm going to try to go for try to go for another puppeteer here. Take you out. Man, that that lightning attack is so powerful. Oh my god. Wow, that is really this is the right person to puppeteer. Oh my goodness. Protect you. Keep you alive at all costs. 
The only problem is she might hit me as well. <laughs> I forgot friendly fire is a thing. And I think she did finally die. Wow, she absolutely wrecked them though. Holy shit, that was that was amazing. Okay, I'm kind of catching my breath here a little bit. Feels like there's one more. I hear I think I hear one more enemy somewhere. Maybe is it a doggo in the water? Not totally sure. I wanted to take a look at I wanted to take a look at these. Right, this is the this, this, um, there's a, let's take a closer look at this here. What is that, a cloud? And there's this really cool, almost a shuriken looking symbol. It's, it's in the center as well. There's a big, there's a big three pronged shuriken and then there's a bunch of little ones on the outside. Is this the sun at the top? Lightning. Lightning is everywhere. Lightning is the theme of this place. I'm grabbing the spirit emblem over here. There is a way to proceed up back, which is probably where we're headed next. There's so many potential ways to go. And so many potential hiding spots for, for enemies. Especially the ones that shoot lightning at you. God damn. They are a handful. I, I could have sworn, though, that I heard somebody else around here. Yeah. There's... There you are. There you are. I, I knew I heard you. I knew I heard you hanging out here. So how close are we to... That branch is still quite a ways over there. And the boss platform, potentially. The open area up here before the branch. With the... With that one lightning... Grenadier. It's still a ways up. I don't know if... I think we might have to... Man, this place is so big. Holy shit. Alright. Let me try to do a little bit of reconnaissance around this area and see what I've missed. Now that it feels like we have cleared out the enemies question mark at least the enemies in this first section I've been all up here but I don't quite see how to get over to that item that's a, that's the only mystery at the moment god damn it why did I why did I do that nice there is a grapple point there I wanted to get back up here and just look one more time. I guess we'll look at this remnant. No ratings. How would I get to the other side? You're not you're not showing me how to get to the other side, are you? We'll have to we'll have to put a pin in that one. I'm not immediately seeing maybe you get up there. Maybe there's a cliff up there that you can get. Maybe that's where we're supposed to go in this back this passageway back here. Has a has a path that leads around. Could that be? There's another dog over there. Okay. So we've got the waterfall here, and there are items. I have not actually been down here. There's another dog. There's several dogs. There are a number of you. Can maybe do a plunging attack on you. So I guess we've sort of cleared out this area here. There is an item there. If I wanted to get up here, could I? Is there a grapple spot for me to get up here? Or do I need to get up higher? It looks like maybe I need to get up higher in order to access. I need to, like, maybe go up the waterfall? Let's go on the branch first. Yeah, it looks like I need to go up here and then come down. But let's explore the bottom section first. We did get to the next skill point. That's cool. We get experience. So much experience. We're already at four skill points. We started with none. Looking around for anybody else I might have missed. Let's get... Wait. Who? Where? 
I thought I heard the combat music. Was that just from the dying, the dying dog got us into combat really quickly? And I think this just leads to where we've been. I think I, there was an item here and now we've, we've scoured this area. Okay. Just trying to, just building the mental map, trying to segment things. Something is glitching out. I, I just very briefly saw like a boss meter. It was either a boss meter or... Oh my god. There's another Shichimen warrior here, isn't there? Okay, I'm trying to process a couple different things. I very briefly saw a boss meter appear, and I think there is a... Like, I think there might be a boss or a mini boss up here. But somehow, me being here... I got into its aggro range momentarily. I think that's what's going on, is somehow that is causing the game to momentarily glitch out. But I'm also, I thought I also saw very briefly those orbs, the terror orbs from the Shichimen warrior. There's a Shichimen warrior here. I do not have the patience for that at the moment, I don't think. I think we're gonna we're gonna also put a pin in that. <laughs> that is what is triggering though. We're we're getting somehow the game was thinking we were in combat with the Shichimen warrior. Let's make our way back around because I don't want to do that just yet. Especially when I'm carrying around 2,000 sen. What I'm hoping for. I'm hoping the game is going to be generous enough to give us another checkpoint. Did it do it again? It did it again, right? See, the terror balls are very briefly... It's it's all coming to life as though we're starting into combat with the Shichi Men Warrior, and then it's like, nah, we're not going to. Nah, I thought about it, and I changed my mind. Dang, I am not seeing a Sculptor's Idol at the moment. No Sculptor's Idol right now. That, God damn, that is really... I'm annoyed at how that is glitching out so much. Now, over here, I thought maybe there might be a path that leads around to that other item. But that looks like that's not the case either. Every time it's doing this. There's something in here as well. I can kind of see through. It looks like there's a whole bunch of nobles inside. That looks like a terribly fun time. Oh, boy. But there is a Sculptor's Idol. That's what I was hoping to see. Let's let's press in here and see if we can get the Sculptor's Idol. But it doesn't open from this side. God damn it. Hmm. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Because I have a lot of money that I'm walking around with. I have a lot of money that I'm walking around with. And I also have a... I don't want to fight two of you. I cannot have... I cannot have an archer on my case as well. So let's get this... Let's take this fight up here. Okay. Okay. One at a time, please. Single file. Single file line to deal with wolf. Whoa, you are so weak. How are you so weak? I don't remember your other archer friends being that. Being that weak before. What the hell? I'm very worried that we're getting into some sort of boss fight or something. But I'm also hoping that there's a Sculptor's Idol. <laughs> there's the Sculptor's Idol is up there and it's behind it's behind the um behind the door. There's also breathing, which suggests that there's somebody on the roof somewhere. So many things going on. And I'm trying 
to make heads or tails of them all. Pretty little pool here. Basin. The Sakura, the cherry blossom petals are everywhere. Dang, that breathing is really freaking me out. Okay, there are so many of you, but there's also a Sculptor's Idol over there. Could we just make a run for that Sculptor's Idol? Or are we going to have to m battle with all of you? Are we going to have to put up a fight? I still haven't used this dang Mist Raven. It's so expensive. I want to try to thin the herd here a little bit. Oh, that is not a good idea. You all are not very weak. Using gouging tops to kill one of you is not the way to go. Can I go up here? I can go up here. Doesn't seem to be anything. Not sure what this gets me. I guess we can... Maybe this is a way to get over to that item if we follow this path. Aha! There is a ledge up here. Okay, maybe this is it. We have a new kind of gecko. We have pale geckos. Oh god, I don't even want to know what you all are capable of. Are there geckos on the ceilings? I think I think they're on the ceilings shooting at me. What are they? What are they? Was I even taking damage? Was I taking damage? This one also seems to be like stuck in you are stuck in the cave wall. You're like... You're not upside down. I can see your belly. I think you didn't... You didn't zone in properly. But yeah, we're here at the other side now, aren't we? I, I, I wasn't taking damage. But I also, like, wasn't building up terror. I'm so confused what they were supposed to be doing. Okay. Anybody hanging out here? Spirit emblems. And a sculptor's idol. Oh my god. And there's also what looks to be a pot noble. Oh, okay. This is this is perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Oh my god. We're not gonna rest just yet because I don't want to respawn every single enemy. But that is a great, a great sight. And who knows? Maybe, maybe we have a way to spend some sin, although perhaps you also take, take uh, carp scales. Divine confetti, okay, no big deal. Oh, that feels good. I was not thinking that there was going to be a, a sculptor's idol here. What a great find. Hi there. Do I know you? You're a different pot noble, aren't you? But you do appear to be a pot noble who wants carp scales. Purchase items with scales. I'm kind of glad I held on to my scales, although... Pot Noble Koromori. Pot Noble Koromori. What, I mean, we have to find out what you have. Could you by any chance have a Gourd Seed? Okay, no Gourd Seed, but... Lapis Lazuli. You have two of these. And they're pretty expensive. And you also have a mask fragment. Now I need to go and look at each of these mask fragments. I need to remind myself what side each of these are on and how many fragments there are. Maybe there are three. Fragment of an old dancer's mask. Interesting. Only two lapis lazuli. Have we read this one before? Used for the highest level of prosthetic tool upgrades, Fountainhead Lazulite is a symbol of eternity, and anything forged with it will never break, nor rust, thanks to the blessing of the Divine Dragon. Tools forged with Lazulite transcend human intellect and are dubbed as Treasures of the Divine Dragon. Cool, this is a great find, and, uh... uh 
Yeah, I, 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 I need to bring a lot more scales, apparently, and I, I'm thinking that this is where, this is where we're going to find them. But that's going to be some other time because I need to wrap up this installment of Sekiro. I'm glad we found this. This save point here is a very good one to find. We, we kind of needed it. But man, I have absolutely loved the Fountainhead Palace so far. This is such a fascinating zone. I love the layout. I love how it kind of feels like just this one big area. But at the same time, it also has these, these sub zones that you're working your way through. It just feels very well designed and it's gorgeous to look at. And the enemies are tough. We took on a bull as well. Which, which, you know, not the toughest when you... When, it's the new enemies that are really the ones that uh, give you the handful. But we also have a giant fish, question mark, that introduced itself and, and ate the bridge. And then there's another Shichiman warrior look forward to. We gotta get we gotta get out this, this lightning grenadier out of the way as well. So many things to take care of still here in the Fountainhead Palace. And I'm looking forward to it. Thank you all very much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one.